Molecules are small particles that make up matter. They are in constant motion. The arrangement and motion of molecules determine whether the matter is a solid, a liquid, or a gas. There are three main states of matter. A solid, a liquid, and a gas. The molecules in solids are tightly packed together. The molecules move very slowly. They actually vibrate in place. Solids keep the same shape. If I took a tennis ball and put it into a box, it would not turn into a cube-shaped item. It would still remain a sphere. Solids keep the same volume. Their volume doesn't change. This picture represents the molecules of a solid tightly packed together and vibrating. Here are some examples of solids. An apple, a desk or table, a hammer, a stake, and a car. Liquids have specific characteristics too. The molecules in liquids are more loosely packed than they are in a solid. The molecules in liquids can move over and around each other. The molecules in liquids move at a faster rate than they do in a solid. Because the molecules can move over and around each other, Liquids keep the shape of the container in which they are placed. Like a solid, the volume of a liquid remains the same. This picture represents molecules in a liquid, and while they are vibrating, the arrows also show that they are moving over and around each other. Some examples of liquids include lemonade, iced tea, water, soda, and coffee. These liquids all take the shape of the container in which they are placed. Molecules in a gas are very loosely packed. The molecules in a gas are moving very quickly. Gases change their shape readily because the molecules in a gas are rapidly and randomly moving around. The volume of a gas will expand or contract depending on the container in which it is placed. Gases will expand to completely fill the volume of wherever they are. This picture represents gas molecules spread apart and moving quickly and bouncing around in all directions. Examples of gases include the most familiar, of course, oxygen, and all of the gases that comprise our atmosphere, water vapor, and gases like those found in fire extinguishers and other sorts of canisters. A phase change takes place when the substance changes state of matter. In other words, it changes from a solid to a liquid or a gas to a solid or any combination of these. As heat is added to a substance, its phase will change. Notice that the more heat a substance has, the further apart and the faster its molecules are moving. Heat is a form of energy, and when you add energy to a substance, it causes the molecules in the substance to move more quickly. The faster the molecules move, the harder it is for them to stay together, and they begin to spread apart. As these molecules start to move faster and faster, they get further and further apart. The arrangement of the molecules changes, and the substance undergoes a phase change. Let's look at a video that shows how heat can affect the state of matter of a substance. We start with some butter in a cold pan. Right now this butter is in the solid state. Notice that I can pick it up and turn it around and move it and it maintains its solid shape. As the butter gains heat energy from the pan, the molecules in the butter start to move faster and spread apart. The butter is melting. In other words, it is turning from a solid to a liquid. The molecules continue to move faster and spread further and further apart as the butter gains heat. The butter is losing its shape as it turns from a solid into a liquid. Notice how the shape of the butter has changed. The butter has now turned from a solid into a liquid. 
Notice how it takes the shape of the container in which it's placed. The butter is now a liquid. The molecules can move over and around one another, but the butter takes the shape of the container in which it's placed. When left to cool, the heat energy leaves the butter and the molecules slow down. The butter has become a solid again. Now let's see what happens when heat is taken away from matter. We start with a glass of water, which is a liquid. Notice that as we pour the liquid into the other glass, the liquid assumes the shape of the new container. This is because molecules in a liquid can slide over and around each other. Now we're going to place this liquid into the freezer. In the freezer, the heat will leave the liquid, causing the molecules to slow down. The water has clearly turned from a liquid to a solid. When heat is added to a solid, it changes from a solid to a liquid and then to a gas. When heat is removed from a gas, it changes to a liquid and then back to a solid. The water cycle is a good example of this. As water on the surface of the earth heats up from the rays of the sun, it evaporates or turns into water vapor, which is another name for gas, and it goes up into the sky. When it gets up into the atmosphere, the water vapor, or gas, cools, and it becomes a liquid again and falls to the earth. When temperatures drop below freezing, the water turns to ice. To learn more about matter, visit these websites.